Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a 25 piece haul video for you. In fact, I have three 25 piece haul videos for you, but today I'm just going to be covering shoes, purses, and bras. Okay, so let's just jump right into it. We're going to start off with bras. Why not? So as you know, because I've said so before, I always like to pick up bras, especially if they are new with tags. And I sell on Poshmark and eBay, before I forget. My username is MCWear for you. If you're interested in any of these things, just shoot on over to my closet and look me up. So this is the first bra that I found. Retails for $44. It is by Soma. It's a size 40 double D. Soma is one of my top selling bra sales. I pick them up if they're like new or new. Oftentimes people go to the secondhand market to try out a new bra brand before they go and drop 44 to 50 and even sometimes 60 to 70 dollars on one. 40 double D. Again, a nude one and a black one. I will be listing them each for $25. Okay. I also sourced one of these again. And these are the Spanx Bralaluya front class bras. And this is a size, these retail for 70. This, this is a 36C. And uh, let's see, I will probably be listing her for 30 and take an offer. Okay, so the next I have three of the same bra. They're all by Soma and they are XXL, a 2X. And these are sort of like Ronda Shear, if you're familiar with those. They're two taupey color and one black. They feel like new. And I actually just sold one just like this last week. So they just pull over the head. They have removable padding. They're very, very stretchy. And in the back, very comfortable. It's almost like a second skin. It's very thin and just conforms to your body. The last bra I have is Torrid which I'm kind of debating whether I should still pick up Torrid. If you pick up, if you're a reseller and you pick up Torrid, let me know how your Torrid sales are doing because I find mine aren't very good. And this is Torrid Curve 44D, underwire, padded, strappy. So I think whatever you wear, that's probably gonna show in the front. And I think that's just the vibe of it in the back. Okay, so getting on to this one, and this is kind of for myself. It's a little makeup bag, and it was only a dollar, and it was new. I took it out of the little bag because I was going to keep it, and it's just really funny. I always find it funny when I see anything about teeth. And the next one is a Spartina bag. Very, very pretty, pretty spring bag. And I think these retail for about $60 to $70. Room right there. And you unzip right here, kind of like a canvas. And even though it looks very small, it's very roomy. And that's what that looks like. And you could either have it a shoulder bag, like that or make this lar uh, longer, the strap, and do a, a little crossbody number. All right, next we have some, oh my gosh, this leather, if you could feel it. These are Garnet Hill, and they retail for over 200. I'll probably list them for about 60. And this is what these look like, and they are a size seven, made in Italy. Beautiful, beautiful Garnet Hill. Black leather knee boots. Yes, we are going into spring, but I do sell boots year round. Obviously, it, they sell more towards the fall and winter months. These I just couldn't leave behind. I didn't pull comps, but these I used to actually have, I think back in like 1992, 1993, LA Girl or LA Gear shoes. And I think these came out in the 80s. Yeah, I think these came out in the 80s because I remember kids at school wearing them when I was in school. So these are LA gear and I just couldn't leave them behind. So if they're my size, I'd probably keep them. 
They are a small size, size seven. All right, next we have some Alex Marie. They look new. They don't even look like they've been worn. And these are a size eight medium, chunky heel. Beautiful like brocade tapestry type look, pointy heels, chunky, zip. And this is what the brand looks like. I pick up these dresses all the time and they do sell very well, so hopefully the shoes will. I don't know if you could see that. Like right there, Alex Marie. So pretty. And also, very similar, but these are actually again torrid, size 11 wide. These are so cute, and if I was younger, I probably would be keeping them for myself, but I think a four inch heel, I'm not doing it. <laughs> That's what those look like. Zip up the side. Torrid and 11 wide, I already said that. So pretty. Okay, and then we have a TAOS suede leather. These are a size 38, so I think they are a seven and a half. I think 38 is a seven and a half. Gently worn. They do have some toe, a little toe stuff right there. Like it may be, I don't know, a little wear on the toe, but more of a distress type thing. Okay. Next, I have this little change purse, which I got for myself, 50 cents. And it's tooled leather, which I absolutely love, tooled leather. Vintage, and what I plan on using this for is loose change. And I also, again, these were new, but I just took them out of the pack because I plan on using them, but I thought they were really cute. They were these no-show socks, but they have arch support, which I thought was pretty cool. So I think maybe, maybe they're for heels. I'm not even sure. Again, they were only a dollar. Okay, next we have some Vince Camuto little sandals and it looks like they are possibly new it says they were $99 on sale for originally $99 on sale for 98 look at that really someone got a sale I guess and that's what those look like they're really cute Vince Camuto and they are size seven. That's what the Vince Camuto looks like. And they are real leather. All right, next is a pair of Vionic, which I sell very frequently. I think on the monthly. I find them on the monthly and I sell them on the monthly. And they are like a driving loafer. That's what those look like. And Vionic is known for their arch support. And they are a size, they're also a size seven. Maybe they belong to the same person. And there on the back, it says Vionic. All right, next are these gorgeous, gorgeous loft boots, size eight and a half. Again, they don't look like they've ever been worn. Huh, so yes, they are loft and size eight and a half, suede leather, wooden stacked, maybe a two inch heel, beautiful loft. All right, next was the first time me finding Schultz. Schultz is known for these knee boots, these high heeled snake print knee boots that I've seen so many videos of people um, wearing and loving the past two years. These are kind of edgy with like a gunmetal chain. And let's see, is the chain removable? I feel like someone's gonna ask me that. But no, it's not removable. But you do just slip, you just slip your foot in, maybe an inch heel. Very good quality, retails for over 200. They're really cool. And they are a size seven and a half. Airplane, not sure if you're gonna be able to hear that, but that was that noise. 
All right, next we have some slip-on mule. I thought they were Birkenstocks at first. They have the Birkenstock cork bed, foot bed, and they are AE tracks. AE tracks. I don't want to butcher the name, but that's what they are. And I know this brand does retail for a lot. There we go. That's a better. How you could see that right there. And they're like a teal, dark teal color. They remind me so much of Birkenstocks. Velcro, which you do have to be careful. Um, size 38. So seven and a half, eight. You have to be careful. You can't actually, you have to be very careful. Uh, Poshmark lets you use the word Velcro, but eBay does not let you use the word Velcro. In fact, Velcro, the name is trademark for those of you who don't know already. And if you use Velcro, eBay will just delete your listing and you'll get a warning. And if you use Velcro, I think it's three times, they'll just suspend you. Okay, next we have some Everlane points, navy, very much like Rothy's but they are Everlane, just as expensive as Rothy's. Again, are they, have they ever been worn? Maybe once. So why, why buy new? Like why buy new? So when I buy shoes, I never buy new shoes like ever because I'd much rather get a secondhand pair of shoes from a thrift than buy something cheap at Walmart or pay less. That's not gonna be of any quality. And I'm never going to be spending more than $100 for any shoes, so I'd rather buy some quality shoes secondhand. These were all $5.99, these shoes. And get home, put, use a Clorox wipe to clean the soles, and you're good to go. I mean, think about when we go bowling, you know, unless we have our own shoes we're bringing. I don't see no shame of, of wearing a used pair of shoes, especially when they're in this lovely condition. All right, two more pairs. All right, next we have some J. Crew calf, um, calf hair, real calf hair. J. Crew calf hair flats. Oops. Yeah, that was right. And there goes that plane again. And these are size six and a half with a little half inch, hmm, maybe an inch, a little inch heel. They look really comfortable. They are too small. Otherwise, I'd probably keep them. Six and a half by J. Crew, Real calf hair. All right. And the last pair are these really cool retro uh, um, Timberland. Thought they were candies at first or Clarks with these type of rubbery, even though it has a pretty good size four inch heel, rubbered heel like Clark Wallabies. Lots of good traction on these. You're not going anywhere when you're wearing these. These are warm. You're not gonna slip if you live in a colder climate with snow or ice. Gosh, they are, they're beauty. Oiled leather, so pretty. And they are the Timberland Ortholites. That's the kind they are. And they are a size, let's see. Nice smooth zipper. And they are a size eight and a half, gosh. Can't get out of the eight and eight and a half, such a popular size. There it is. So that was my 25 piece haul, guys. And if you're interested in anything, you comment below or check me out on my closets and see where for you on Posh and eBay. So again, I thank you for watching. Have a nice day.